Hey what's up guys Rajas from VFX World welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine this is element 3d class 13 and in this video you will be learning such an amazing techniques by using element 3d inside of after effects so without wasting any time let's get started Okay guys, so right now we are in After Effects version 2020 and guys trust me this tutorial will be the most awaiting tutorial ever I have uploaded in my Instagram account. You guys are so crazy. Okay, so let's start with taking a new composition from here. Just click here and let's rename it like E-L-E-M-E-N-T 3D and then just press OK. So this is our new composition and let's take a new solid layer. So right click new and solid color should be black something like that and the layer name is like e 3d something like 3d and then behind that e 3d so it means element 3d okay then just press okay okay after that you have to apply element 3d layer in this effects panel video copilot element so this is the basic simple steps as you all know now you have to go inside of element 3d but before going inside of element 3d just want to tell you that this is a very simple technique so don't worry about that a very weird kind of animation so just go to the scene setup and uh, whenever it will open inside of scene setup so first of all you have to create a cube by using four normal plane or cards so just create a new card here and rotate it like 90 degree by pressing shift you can exactly snap to this origin and make sure don't move like y axis and like down x axis it should be in middle of this then just move it to here something like that and obviously turn on this two sided plane so that you can visible it both the sides okay so now increase it the size little bit so that it will fit on that grid area something like that and now you have to copying it for the four times so just press alt and drag it here and now it's copied for once and select both select E for rotation and press alt and rotate it by and then press shift to snap it to the origin okay so now it's all in cube position okay so now we have created successfully a cube now you can apply textures in it but uh, I will not apply texture right now now this will be in group one so this is fine now select all this and move it to a separate group and name it like a uh, rename like cubes because always you have to rename this all stuff for this kind of tutorial because you will be get confused after a few times so just press ok so okay so this is our safe zone now the basic idea is we have to make so many stuffs by using this motion design pack 1 or motion design pack 2 and you have to apply all this on this walls so just click this motion design 2 I'll just show you 2 or 3 then you will understand what I'm trying to show you then just press the beam one and from here I'm taking this one it's just a random stuffs I'm doing just rotate it a little bit and move it here and you can exactly scale it down something like that and apply it to this wall position something something like that so it will fit on this wall and then i will add some like tubes pipe something from here let's take this tube rotate it a little bit and uh, just rotate it on this direction and same process you have to apply it or like positioning it whatever you want to use it anywhere it's completely up to you okay and then take another tube something here and again rotate it a little bit and you have to apply on this wall if you want to apply it in a separate wall you can apply it now apply it i'm just want to apply it on this wall make sure this area is applied on the wall part so make sure it should be a little small down now it's completely up to your creativity how you want to see this kind of stuffs on your uh, like output uh, in this case i want to add this much it's fine move it here you can duplicate it completely like this and rotate it a little bit and place it anywhere where you want to place it and in this case i just want to place it here okay so by using this way you have to create so many stuffs on this walls and you have to apply that on the different different walls don't create a same things like you can do like this area and that this area should be same but feel like a copy so don't do that just do whatever you want to use and try to apply a different different models here okay so guys i'll get back to you when the everything models will be done okay so guys i have successfully created all the stuffs here as you can see all the stuffs are different and to create a very good depth here because the camera will go in this direction so i just have created three basic stuffs so it will create a very good depth here whenever the camera will go inside and uh, now it's fine and for the environment purpose i'm using the basic environment which is already provided by element 3d and now guys we are happy to go for the next step so just press ok here and uh, so it will feel like here so just take a new camera so just right click new take a new camera in this case i'm using a little bit wider so just take 25 mm and then just press ok 
okay so now as you can see it's already started lagging because i have added so many stops here so just decrease the full rest from quarter so that it will easy to handle now the basic idea is all about to replicate it multiple times so from here just go to group one and from here to like let's change it from point to like 3d grid and increase the 3d grid from y axis to let's take around 14 and now we have 14 here in several way so just increase the shape scale to let's take around 180 something like that so it will increase and it fit something like that okay so now what you have to do you have to go inside of this tunnel and you have to take our very good camera animation so now guys we are inside of this tunnel and in this tutorial i will not show you how to do the camera animation because this is a very simple stuff so you have to create some keyframes and do the simple animation is completely up to you so i'll just show you how you can create those kind of amazing effects and like cool tunnel looks and all so okay so for the very first time it will look like this now if you find this area is completely blank so in this scene setup i have created two sliders here so this is for the group one and which is the group one is this box and the group two will be the lead one and group three will the lead two so just press it okay and you have to uh, go to this group two and turn this on so it will fit on the back side of this tunnel and group three for the below of this tunnel so so it will automatically fit on this area okay so now change it from quarter to full so that you can exactly see how it will look like in full rest so guys it will completely feel like in full resolution in this kind of stuff now we have to do some render settings and which is a very most important stuff and guys trust me without this kind of cool chains and all you can exactly add it some cool aircraft spaceships which will launch from this kind of tunnel inside of space it, it will create a so much massive kind of things inside of element 3d okay so now we have to go to this render settings and inside of render settings go to this physical environment and let's change the tint color a little bit bluish so that it feel like it's already in space so let's make it increase it a little bit more and it's fine okay so now change the let's check around ambient occlusion increase it like from enable and let's increase from 1 to 10 and now guys if you notice this it's already getting very much slow but guys if you want to create some cool things you have to make it very much precise okay so now after that let's change some cool fog value here so you can enable this fog value so just turn this on fog and just change the color to same blue color you can change it to any color if you want to use it in any color i just have this blue color i really love this so enable this fog one so that you can exactly see this fog will look like this now you can increase the opacity so in this case i'm just increasing it to like 90 and the fog starting distance to let's take around 60 sorry 600 is good enough so yeah this fog values are very good so it's already looks so much realistic here and now to make it more realistic we have to add some lights here so just right click new and take a new light and change the color to a little bit purple because i really love this blue and purple combinations and turn this cast shadow on press it ok so that you can exactly see some cool purple reflections here see no need to change anywhere whatever it will come in default it's getting a very good response very good result and after that you have to duplicate the e3d main layer so just control d because you have to create some glow effect here and then just rename it like e3d underscore glow and let's sorry so just make it like glow and from here go to this output one and from the composite like it like illumination part so this area will be illuminate okay so now take it like glow effects double click here so it will create some glow here and change the blending mode from like add or anything if you want to use okay so make sure you have to create a good depth of field because without depth of field this kind of animations will not give you a proper result and guys after giving a proper depth of field and color corrections and all it will completely look like this okay so let's go with another example which is uh, this one this is a very good example of looping video that uh, how you can loop this kind of effect with very good depth of field and fog effect and all so i'll show you the composition that how i created this kind of amazing renders inside of element 3 so this is the composition of that loop effect here so i'll just show you the inside of element 3d how it will look like the process is exactly same we have to replicate it multiple times so inside of element 3d i have created this many tubes here like pipes or tubes what do we want to use and then i just added two special like floors here which is for the bottom part and one is for the top part okay and inside of like group second one the both are same like we have one in group one and group two both are same because we have to replicate the both groups in multiple times 
times to create a very good loop and also a very good depth and then just press ok now inside of this one i just have added some settings here so inside of this element 3d setups i just have to go to this group one and inside of replicator make it to 3d grid and from here i'm just change the grid z axis value and grid y axis value something like 6 by 4 and some position settings and all the all the setups are exactly same like the previous one and for the loop animation you have to make sure your first frame and also your last frame should be completely same and to give a proper very good render examples i have added another camera this camera can be rotated in any kind of way any kind of three-dimensional space to see you the entire output now this is a very very fast animation so the composition is very much high and also a very good heavy composition with a very good depth of field and also a fog effect okay guys so by using this way you can exactly create so many amazing stops inside of element 3d and guys when you successfully created all the steps it will completely look like this so guys i just want to thank all of you to support our element 3d all the classes you guys loved this all episodes of element 3d so thank you so very much in future many tutorials will be coming based on element 3d and also some very good updates from element 3d inside of after effect and guys you are also active on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below go and follow us over there and guys if you really love our this tutorial then don't forget to like comment and share and also subscribe to our channel vfx world i will see you in my next video Video. till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching vfx world